Well, for my 18 holes today, my biggest decision is my mode of transportation. I could choose a traditional golf cart, a three-wheel scooter, a golf board, or even a robot caddy. Well, one thing is for sure, this round of golf is going to be a blast. So where am I teeing it up today? Find out next on Winning Golf. Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. And today our exciting show comes to you from the spectacular Pen Oaks Golf Club. And I am just thrilled to be here at Pen Oaks Golf Club with Steve DeMarco, the managing director and my good friend Steve. I'm so happy to bring Winning Golf back to Pen Oaks and I am super excited to bring a very special memory with eight wonderful couples from our Pen Oaks family. Steve, I believe we're going to have a fantastic day. Doug, we're thrilled you're here and I'll tell you, we always say you can never have a bad day at Pen Oaks and we got a beautiful day today. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the competition and us having a lot of fun today. So welcome. Well, thank you, Steve. Thanks. I've got one question for my Pen Oaks couples and here it is. Are you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah. Yes. Boy, I love your enthusiasm now. Our first contest is a group putting contest where all of you will putt from 30 feet at the same time. So some of, <laughs> some of the golf balls could collide into each other, but that's part of the fun. The bottom line is whoever winds up closest to the cup will win an amazing prize. How about this prize? Thanks to Steve DeMarco. Golf and lunch for two right here at Pen Oaks Golf Club. Hey, everybody, what do we say to Steve? Thanks, Thanks you, Steve. Steve. All right, let's go. Thank you, Steve. Good. Thanks, Tom. Let's get ready to putt. Well, eight couples are ready to putt from 30 feet on this beautiful 18th green. Ready, couples? One, two, three, putt. And here they come, 16 golf balls rolling towards the pen. Oh, one is in the cup. My goodness, we have an incredible shot to start our day. Well, Pat D'Alessio, congratulations. That was an amazing putt. Zero feet, zero inches, a great way to start our show. So now you'll get to enjoy golf and lunch for two right here at Pen Oaks Golf Club. Pat, I hope you enjoyed the contest. Awesome. It was great. It was a no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank no you, Pat. Brain. Well, as you can see, the couples here at Pen Oaks know how to play some winning golf, and the great news is this. We still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us, but first, let's take a tour around today's host facility, the gorgeous Pen Oaks Golf Club. Pen Oaks Golf Club, a private club uniquely positioned in both Cheshire and Delaware counties, opened its doors in 1965. The 142 acres offers golfers amazing views, surrounded by tree-lined fairways, beautiful ponds, lush landscaping, rolling hills, and adventurous terrain. The beautifully manicured golf course was designed by famous golf architect Russell Roberts. From the tips, Pen Oak stretches to over 6,600 yards, and although the narrow fairways and undulating greens can be very challenging, the golf course offers five sets of tees making a day on the course enjoyable for players of all levels. One thing is for sure, with the 20 new 007 Bent Brass USGA Spec Greens, as well as additional course projects such as new tee boxes, bunkers, and cart paths, this golf course is now recognized as one of the true gems in Chester County. We've instituted a long-range plan. Uh, our architect is Stephen Kay, and uh, we've redone two holes completely. This past winter we added two new tees to shorten the golf course to make it more playable for our players. And uh, we continue to do things like that to make the game more enjoyable. In addition to the pristine golf course, the golf amenities are abundant. So we have a brand new recently renovated driving range with uh, four brand new target greens out there and an expanded uh, tee box so members can come up after work practice on their golf games or hone their skills before they go out on the golf course and play. We have two uh, full length putting greens. Uh, we have two chipping greens. One of them we call four and a half and it's out in the golf course in between our fourth and fifth hole. And it's a nice private area to work on pretty much any shot you would encounter on the golf course. The dedicated pro shop staff offers a first class tournament program, a fully stocked pro shop and over the top service to both members and guests. In addition, the Pen Oaks golf staff includes six PGA golf professionals who provide private lessons and clinics for adults, fun and enriching golf camps for juniors, as well as grow the game programs for new golfers. 
And last but certainly not least, the Golf Operation now offers four unique modes of transportation to add enjoyment to your round of golf. Uh, what we really enjoy here at Penn Oaks is just welcoming everybody, uh, beginners, golfers that are very highly skilled. Uh, we do a lot with our kids program. Uh, we have start off the season with clinics every Sunday. We offer free lessons to them throughout the summer so they can continue to work on their games. Uh, we do a lot of clinics for our members, uh, outside groups as well. And uh, they get an opportunity to learn the game and we like to get everybody involved here. Of course, Penn Oaks offers more than just a golfing experience. The modern clubhouse includes a newly renovated ballroom, a private dining room, as well as a new men's lounge and locker room. Recent construction includes a stunning new club entrance, a popular pub, a gorgeous enclosed pub patio, as well as a ballroom patio and tent area that allows the Penn Oaks staff to host events for up to 400 people. Of course, with new clubhouse facilities, it's important to offer a full culinary experience. At Penn Oaks, whether it's a fine dining, intimate or casual setting, the experience comes with a five-star menu, delicious dishes, selected wines, amazing views, and superior service. And for larger events, such as holiday parties, weddings, bar or bar mitzvahs, corporate meetings or golf outings, the professional clubhouse staff provides three dedicated event coordinators, always ready and willing to exceed your expectations. In fact, the entire staff at Penn Oaks Golf Club has one simple goal in mind for all members and guests, and that is to make your experience at Penn Oaks simply perfect. If interested in finding out information about membership or how to plan your special event, please call 610-399-0501 or check out the web at pennoaksgolfclub.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Rich Weaver, Regina Weaver, Chris Beach, Pat D'Alessio, Dave Guerra, Deb Guerra, Pete Petrol, Pat Petrol, Mike Lee, Rita Lee, Ed Matikovic, Ro Matikovic, Terry Connors, Suzette Webb, Joel Stevenson, Kristen Stevenson. Our players are set for Doug's Foot Joy Lesson Tip and Shoe Contest. Foot Joy, the mark of a player. Today's Foot Joy Contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm going to discuss club selection when it comes to your chipping game. Part two, Suzette Webb's going to put my tip into action. And part three is the Foot Joy Contest where all of you will get to hit a chip shot and at the same time compete for an unbelievable prize. You ready for this? How about a beautiful pair of Foot Joy shoes? The number one shoe in golf. Is that awesome? <laughs> What a prize. Let's talk about chipping, specifically about club selection, and I'd like to start my lesson with two absolutes. Absolute number one, the safest thing a ball can do is roll. Absolute number two, the closer my landing area is to me, the better chance I have of hitting it. Would you agree with both those absolutes? Yes. Good. So think about my next statement. If my setup and the length of my stroke and the tempo of my stroke and my landing area are the same every time I chip, then I only have one decision to make, and that is, what club am I going to chip with? That makes sense to everybody? Yes. Yes. What club am I going to chip with? Here's a simple formula that would help you around the green. When the pin is in the front of the green, then I'm usually chipping with my sand wedge. If the pin's in the middle of the green, I reach into my bag for my pitching wedge or nine iron. When the pin is in the back, like it is today, and we've got to make that ball roll, then I go for my eight or my seven iron. Make sense, everyone? Yes. Awesome. Well, before we get to our foot joy contest, I would love for Suzette Webb to come up here and put this tip in action. Have a nice applause for Suzette. Yay. Great to see you, Suzette. Hi, Doug. Nice to be here. Great. Set up to the golf ball for me, please. So the ball's in the center. Okay. And we're going to put a little bit of weight into your front leg. Your hands are going to be a little bit ahead of the golf ball like that. All right, Suzette, so your goal was to try to hit it into that ring or around the ring and let the seven iron do the rest, okay? I'm going to step back with this wonderful team from Penn Oaks. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at this shot, everybody. Right around the ring, and that's right below the cup. That looks like about pin high, Suzette. I hope you learned a lot today. Thank you, Doug. I really did. I appreciate the tips. You're quite welcome. Well, everybody, you ready to try to win a pair of Foot Joy shoes? Yeah. Awesome.
For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf Professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to Doug at rdhgolf.com. Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. Our Foot Joy Shoe Contest is a 75-foot chip shot from the heavy rough. Terry Connors puts Doug's tip into action. Terry Connors with a 7-iron rolling down from left to right. All right, Terry, well done. Joel Stevenson's shot looks good at under 10 feet away. What a beautiful touch right out of the high grass. And that's a great effort, Joel. Well done. Thank you, sir. Pat D'Alessio has a good feel for this chip. Hitting the ring again. This should get to the crest, and here it comes. And look at that touch by Pat D'Alessio. Awesome, Pat. Chris Beach has a great effort to three feet, five inches. Right in the center of the ring. And look at this by Chris Beach. That's winning golf, Chris. Well done. Well done. But Mike Lee wins the shoes with this beauty to less than three feet from the cup. It's got a chance to go in. Michael Lee. Oh, awesome. Wow. That's winning golf by Michael Lee. Well, everybody, our Foot Joy contest winners, Michael Lee. Yeah. Michael, congratulations. You picked the perfect club and you hit your landing area. And now you'll be lacing up a gorgeous pair of Foot Joy shoes, the number one shoe in golf. But Michael, my question for you right now is this. How would you like to add another terrific prize to those new Foot Joy shoes? I'd love it, Doug. And let's play some more winning golf. I love your enthusiasm, so I hope you get the opportunity when winning golf returns. These major champions choose Foot Joy. He's right. We do. Because they perform. And look sharp. Thanks, Adam. Rafa here proudly sports the all new Fury. And these guys choose the Pro SL. Because it's the hottest shoe on tour. Foot Joy. Foot Joy. Foot Joy for the win. Shh. Oh, sorry. Foot Joy, the number one shoe in golf. I thought. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton. Now you can enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. The Desmond Malvern, a double tree by Hilton, where you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. Prizes and tea gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by Burton Travel Covers, premium quality materials that keep your club safe. Burton. And by T-Squared Putters, custom putters at a stock price. T-Squared. Ahead Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design. Ahead. And Titleist Golf Balls, the number one ball in golf. Go to Titleist.com slash tour BP3 to sign up for a free ball plan tour. Doug Hendricks' wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, performance by design. Everybody wins. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our prize putt. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, Penn Oaks couples, right now, I'd love to give out a very special prize. How does that sound? Yeah. Awesome. Well, here's the deal. Our wonderful PGA golf professional, Tom Koenig, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will end up two chances to putt from 25 feet with the goal of leaving one of those putts inside a six foot circle. You with me so far? Yes. Now, if that player can leave a ball in that circle, he or she will win an amazing romance package to the Desmond Hotel. How's that sound? <laughs> that includes a couple of drinks, a beautiful room, and a delicious breakfast. That is an amazing prize. Tom, there is romance in the air here at Penn Oaks. <laughs> Could you kindly pull one Certainly. name out of the hat? Who's our lucky contestant okay, today? Let's see who the winner is? It is Kristen Stevenson. Kristen Yay! Stevenson. All right. Kristen, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, the contest. I'm going to give you two chances from 25 feet. Okay. If you leave one of your golf balls inside the circle, you're headed to the Desmond Hotel. Sound great? Sounds awesome. Let's get ready to putt. Great. If Kristen can putt one of her two attempts inside the six-foot circle, Kristen will win a romance package at a beautiful Desmond Hotel. Now a double tree Hilton. And here we go, from 25 feet, it's got a chance. We'll get to the circle. That's the question, it's rolling down beautifully. It is in the circle. We have a winner. We have a winner. 
Well, Kristen, congratulations. That was an incredible Thanks. putt. You rolled it in the circle on your second attempt, so now you'll get a little getaway at the Desmond Hotel with your husband, Joel. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the contest. Thanks so much. It was super fun. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks to the Desmond Hotel, we just gave away a terrific prize. And the exciting news is this, we still have a ton of awesome prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important Survivor Round. Our top two winners in the Survivor Round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one features a 90-foot chip shot from the fairway that Rita Lee handles well. This could get to the back of the green and work its way back towards the hole, and here it comes. Look at this plan by Rita Lee, and here it comes. And that is winning golf by Rita Lee. Well done. Regina Weaver shows good form. Regina Weaver with a great setup and a great stroke. That is winning golf, Rena. Kristen Stevenson has gained. Kristen Stevenson with a seven iron from 90 feet. And look at this touch by Kristen. That is winning golf. Well done, Kristen. Deb Guerra is the first to six feet from the pin. Beautiful setup and a nice touch. Boy, that is a pendulum stroke and that is a terrific winning golf shot. Dave Guerra sneaks ahead of his wife with this shot to just over four feet. Question, is it long enough? And look at that touch by Dave. Things are heating up here. But Pat Petrol takes the round with this winning golf chip to one foot, eight inches. Pat, that is winning golf, Pat. Well done. Round two starts with Ed Matakovic tackling this 35 yard pitch shot. Ed Matakovic with a seven iron. Boy, this speed looks very good. That is pin high and well done by Ed Matakovic. Ro Matakovic follows her husband's lead with this effort to 14 feet. That's gonna come back a little bit off the hill. And that's a very nice play by Ro Matakovic. Well done, beautiful shot. Regina Weaver shows off her short game skills. A great setup and a great stroke, Regina Weaver. Terry Connors pitches it to about eight feet from the pin. Which a nice setup and a nice stroke. Moving from left to right, and this is well played by Terry Connors. Winning golf, yeah. Terry. Pat Petrol is a couple of feet closer. If it gets to the crest, it will roll down to the right, and look at his touch by Pat. Great club selection, great shot by Pat Petrol. Mike Lee has this shot down. He's at two and a half feet. This has a chance to go in, everybody. Mike Lee's got a chance. Oh my goodness. But Pete Petrol catches everyone's attention with his masterful shot to just 11 inches. This one's got a chance to go in, and that is a great touch by Pete Petrol. Awesome. Next, we test the putting skills with this 25 footer. Suzette Webb has a smooth stroke. And that's a beautiful stroke by Suzette. Pat D'Alessio rolls her ball to less than a foot away. From right to left, it's got a chance. Oh, just over the edge of the cup. Pete Petrol is the first to eight inches. Great setup. This one's got a chance. Pete Petrol over the lip of the cup. Chris Beach inches closer. Beautiful setup and a beautiful stroke. This one's got a chance. Deb Guerra reads this putt well. But coming back towards the cup, and here it comes. Look at that touch by Deb. Wow. Ed Matakovic's putt stops three inches from the cup. Pendulum stroke, and this is about in high, right on the doorstep. But watch Rich Weaver. He sinks it. Well done. Going for the hole. It's in the hole, Rich Weaver. Wow. That is winning golf by Rich Weaver. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. I'm on the tee today with Steve DeMarco, the managing director at Penn Oaks. And Steve, it is great to be here. Thanks for having Winning Golf back at Penn Oaks. And boy, a lot of excitement at Penn Oaks this season. Yeah, Doug, we're thrilled you were here and you got a great day and it was fun to watch everyone compete. Well, Steve, there seems to be a buzz around here. When I'm teaching, people are talking. A couple of neat things are happening here at Penn Oaks. Maybe you can share some of the experiences that are going on. Sure. I mean. Our philosophy here at Penn Oaks has always been like a family fun club and one of the things that we really try to focus on is you know today people want to experience and they look for certain experiences so we've added all these different alternative vehicles so depending if you're time restricted if you want to get exercise or if you want to socialize or just have fun on the golf course so we added all these different vehicles that has been uh, really really tremendous and our members are just loving it and you have a special app that 
communicates well with the membership for their needs. Sure, the reason why we developed it obviously is one, to connect our members. It's real important that you connect the members to each other so they can feel uh, the network and uh, they can get out and they can socialize. But the other thing is, it's all about convenience today. People, you know, don't have a lot of time. So with our app, we've developed it where, you know, if you want your clubs at the range or the practice field, you just push a button. If you need food, you can push a button. Um, so it just really adds to the whole convenience lifestyle of what today's, uh, you know, demographics are demanding. Well, Steve, I can tell because the membership is very excited. And if you want the latest and the greatest, you've got to check out Pen Oaks Golf Club. I'll see you next week on the tee. The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get closest to the cup. This week, our players are tested with this 30-yard uphill pitch from the rough. Ro Matikovic continues her fine play. That's a nice touch by Ro Matikovic. Well done. Good shot, Ro. Dave Guerra pitches it to 10 feet away. And a nice roll. That is a great effort by Dave Guerra. Joel Stevenson is a couple of inches closer. Joel Stevenson, will it come back? That's the question. And here it comes. This one's going to pick up speed. And that's winning golf by Joel Stevenson. Pat Petrol tries to get to our playoff with this fine effort. It's rolling beautifully, and that is in tight. Rich Weaver grabs the first spot in our up and in with this shot to less than five feet. That is right behind the hole. Well done, Rich. And Rita Lee takes the round and the other spot with this gem to just under three feet. That is winning golf, Rita. So it will be Lee versus Weaver to battle it out in our up and in playoff when winning golf continues. Major champions choose foot joy. He's right. We do. Because they perform. And look sharp. Thanks, Adam. Rafa here proudly sports the all new Fury. And these guys choose the Pro SL. Because it's the hottest shoe on tour. Foot joy. Foot joy. Foot joy for the win. Shh. Oh, sorry. Foot joy, the number one shoe in golf. I thought. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Signs by the Sea, the best custom handmade golf accessories and gifts. Signs by the Sea. And by Chippo. Compete against your buddies while working on your short game. Chippo. And by Devant, the number one custom golf towel in the business. Devant. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. It's now time for the winning golf up and in playoff. We're on the 18th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes. A slot in the winning golf championship and a chance to drive home with the keys to a gorgeous GMC terrain. Now the rules for the winning golf up and in playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the winning golf up and in playoff will be a 20 yard short downhill pitch. Rita Lee will have the honors. Rita carries a 25 handicap and has been a member here at Pen Oaks for 14 years. Rita has chosen a gap wedge. This looks like an easy shot, but there's a big slope. It's downhill, move a little bit right to left. Let's see what happens. And I like this touch by Rita. Look at this touch by Rita. She is right below the hole. Looks like about five feet away. What a great way to start the playoff. And now it's Rich Weaver's turn to try and battle this challenging 18th green here at Pen Oaks. Rich owns a 10 handicap and has been a member at Pen Oaks for 11 years. He's got a 58 degree wedge. He's got a great short game. And look at this shot by Rich. And this is going to be a putting contest between Rich and Rita. So both players, Rich and Rita, hit marvelous little pit shots. And now Rich has six feet. See what he can do. Nice setup, nice roll, and it's in the cup. 
Rich Weaver handles the pressure and rolls in for a two. And now Rita Lee has five feet, maybe a little bit right to left. She'll need this to force a chip off. Let's see what happens. Rita Lee with a great setup and leaves it just outside the cup. But that's a great effort by Rita and a tremendous day by our two finalists. Rich Weaver, congratulations on becoming the winning golf champion here at the beautiful Penn Oaks Golf Club. And Rich, you had a great day. Your short game was on fire, your wedges and your putter were working, and you made the pressure putt when it counted. That's what great champions do. Rich, I hope you had a wonderful experience with winning golf. Oh, it was a great day here at Penn Oaks. I want to thank you, winning golf, my wife Regina, the staff, all the contestants. Marvelous day. Well, thank you, Rich. Well, Rich, your experience is not quite over yet. As a matter of fact, in a couple minutes, it could get much, much better because I'm going to give you the chance to putt from only 60 feet for a gorgeous GMC terrain. Rich, how's that idea sound to you? It'd be a perfect ending to a perfect day. Well, thank you, Rich. Well, there's only 60 feet between Rich Weaver and a brand new GMC terrain, so whatever you do, don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. GMC Sierra. Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's with fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Philly's mm. number one sports fans catch every game at PJ Willihan's, where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit pjspub.com. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the new GMC terrain at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Welcome back to Winning Golf for our final event, the Champions Putt. Each week, our champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous GMC terrain. Winning Golf is very thankful to have the Buick GMC Tri-State dealer sponsoring this thrilling event. Our champion, Rich Weaver, is only 60 feet away from the cup. If he can roll in this putt, I will hand Rich the keys to a spectacular GMC terrain. Well, we are hoping for a 60-foot miracle today at Penn Oaks. A few seasons ago, we watched Jeremy Bowden roll in a 60-footer. Let's see if it can happen again. He's got a great putting stroke, and here it comes. From 60 feet, it's online. The speed looks good. This one's got a chance from our champion, Rich Weaver, right over the lip of the cup. How about that effort from our champion, Rich Weaver? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's exciting show from the fabulous Penn Oaks Golf Club. I would personally like to thank the entire Penn Oaks staff and membership for the warm welcome and over-the-top hospitality. Also, a special thanks to my wonderful host, Steve DeMarco, and again, congratulations to today's winning golf champion, Rich Weaver. Well, it's my turn to play 18 holes, so I've got to decide my mode of transportation. It's a tough decision, but I think I'm going with the three-wheel scooter. Wow, look at this, just another fun day at Penn Oaks. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. With me.